Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the top four of the Dagobah Galactic Championship Qualifier. If you don't know what Galaxies is, the Galactic Championship Series, uh, this is a series finding, locating, searching for the one, the only, the Galactic Champion. 32 players in each of our qualifiers will be receiving an invite for our Galactic Championship, the Battle for Alderaan. And we are looking forward to um, to finding out who's going to be that Galactic Champion. Last year, our champion um, winning from an uh, uh, X-Wing player out of South Africa, Charlie, uh, winning it all. And uh, we we're just looking forward to seeing what happens here in 2021. Now, today's stream is a fundraiser for Vandercook College of Music's One City Strings program. We are super excited to uh, be, look at the, look at, look to my left right there. $7,075 and 17 cents. Okay, lucky number 17 here for GSP. If you don't know, type exclamation point 17 into the Twitch chat. Even if we're on offline, by the way, our YouTube fam. Click the link that's there. If you want a moment of, of, of a, just a, 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 a interest, we'll call it an interesting moment in GSP history. You can take a look at that image that pops up when you type exclamation point 17. Uh, but the Vanderco College of Music One City Strings program is a program that is giving um, local students, local kids, uh, to Vanderco College of Music that's on the south side of, of Chicago free, yes, 100% free music lessons and an instrument starting from kindergarten through eighth grade. These students will even be able to leave the program with an instrument that they get to keep and continue to play into high school and beyond. So that's super exciting. And um, this is uh, a, an effort that I am so glad that you guys have been excited about. It's something that uh, as, as part of my graduate classes, uh, my graduate class, a fundraiser. We were we picked this program to be uh, what we were spearheading. And thank you to everybody who wants to support uh, this thing that I'm passionate about. I'm super excited that we were able to bring the power of Gold Squadron and the X-wing community uh, to these efforts. And I'm super excited to bring in uh, at this point with the two thousand dollars that GSP uh, promised forward uh, when we reached that two thousand dollar mark. Uh, right now, over nine thousand dollars. That program is going to have instruments to get started. They're going to be ready and excited. I, I, I am so pumped. But let's go ahead. Let's keep this thing going. Uh, James, let's go ahead and break down the matchups. And it is time for everybody out there to choose their champion. All right. So on the left here, we have Tor Walden. He's flying a resistance Beef List has four T-70 X-Wings with the S-Spoils and BB Astromix. Uh, these are the Blue Squadron Rookies, so the I, the Initiative 1 T-70s. And also to round the list, he has Rose Tico or Rose C-3PO, or Rose 3PO, however you want to say it, with uh, Heroic and the C-3PO crew uh, giving her the Coordinate and calculate action so just an incredible support piece very resilient when she has friends nearby uh, very very deceptive de deceptively tanky too so we'll see 
um, how well he's able to utilize rows in this list. On the other side of the table, we have Sven Punga. Uh, he is running a scum and villainy list with two identical ships. Uh, the IG Aggressor Assault Fighters, and he has the IG-88B and the IG-88D. So both of these ships have advanced sensors, elusive, ion cannon, auto blasters, proton bomb, false transponder codes, shield upgrade, and the IG-2000 title. So these guys have... But basically bring every tool in the box that you could possibly bring. Maybe except for turrets. They don't have turrets. So they're not that good, right? <laughs> that, right, right. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't have a turret? Trash. <laughs> yeah, but they basically have everything else. Um, the, you, very very good little knife fighters, uh, but I don't think that's what he's doing this game. I think he's he's lining up for the honorable joust. We jousted? Respectable. All we right. jousted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, well, we <laughs> with that, people are putting in their bets right now. Who do you think has the advantage, James? Oh, man, it, it's got to be the resistance. It's got to be, right? Like, there's no there is no way that these IGs are able to out-joust these X-Wings. No, no, I refuse to believe it. You refuse. In my heart, I know. <laughs> I mean, but I, I wonder, you know, Sven, I wonder if he's going to... Uh... I don't know, like, you know, little little dink, little dank here, you know, to try to like, is he is he actually going for the honorable joust, or is this is I mean, this a ruse? Is it a ruse well, to try well, to get some some uh, some proton bombs in early? Because he's got that advanced sensors. Those those IGs can really move. Yeah, let me let me throw that dial up on the screen because this this IG dial is absolutely crazy good. Um, it's got the all the one maneuvers, all the two maneuvers, the three sloop or sorry the three straight and three banks, the four straight, and the three sloops and four K. But those three sloops are kind of deceptive because they have the IG eighty eight D dial mm -hmm. or the the shift ability to give them the sloop, the K turn or the three hard sloop. So. Uh, usually a maneuver that we it's, it's kind of impossible to do only these guys can do it yeah but yeah they, these guys can really because like right now this IGD with the red one here can or sorry IGB the red one can boost left and then do a four straight to really get behind all these X-Wings if they go slow mm-hmm and I mean I, Tor and also here's the thing Tor wants to joust right so I, I'm curious to see what happens here. I think this this is going to be a case where the the lower agility of these X wings is going to be a really interesting factor. I think because you, the IGs can't block these uh, can can't block these X wings. They're going to be able to take up their space, um, but at the same time, they're going to have perfect information with their advanced sensors. Yeah, and they really don't mind. Bumping, especially because they have the advanced sensors. Oh, oh, oh we still gonna start BB. Oh man, yeah. I didn't even think about this. Toss up those BB Astromechs real quick. Oh man, right. BB Astromech. It's actually a really awesome card. I think it's underplayed. Underplayed oh, yeah. here. Uh, before you X, it's a resistance only Astromech. Two charges. Before you execute a blue maneuver, you may spend one charge to perform a barrel roll action. So right here, changing the trajectory and the width of the formation uh, by sliding over green and blue makes it so that the, the net on those X-Wings is just a little bit wider and makes it a little bit harder for those IGs to get completely out of all the arcs. Oh, no. Unfortunately, it looks like his formation got a little messed up. Oh, when, yellow... when Rose bumped the the nubs. The nubbins are on the, the way. Nu <laughs> the nubs. Oh, yeah. That's that's so unfortunate. Ooh. No. That's not great. Not great those for BB, IG. Those, those, those BB mechs. Put them right where they need to be. Yep. 
Look at look at that. That green X wing is gonna have a sweet range one shot. Pop, I'm, I'm pop. surprised that he didn't. I'm surprised that he didn't lock here to do the false transponder codes. Ah, good good idea. I think he's afraid. You know, he wants to have that defensive. Oh, yeah. That defensive. He's like, he's uh, like, I'm tech. so surprised. <laughs> 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 I had no idea. <laughs> Well, here we go. He is going to be firing into that green X-Wing. Might be able to strip him of that focus that way. Here's the shot. Trail mix. One of each. Spend the calculate. Make it two. One of A. That is a shield. I, I think this may be a very different matchup to what we just kind of just saw with the... With the A wings, because these these T seventies have seven health. Now yeah, exactly, and, and I think that's gonna be that's and, gonna and, be to advantage, right? Oh yeah. Oh, hit crit. Oh, coming in from Rose. Rose. She's gonna Ooh. scrape the paint, take the first shield. Use elusive. Oh, elusive. elusive, elusive. You're right. You're right. There it is. Oh, Force oh, him to spend a calculate. <laughs> All right, he's it makes it safe though. So, Rose, Rose Tika, I'll throw that up on there because that's a very interesting ability as well. Yep, and here, this T70, that is a blank result. Two hits. A blank oh. out. Complete. You can't, you can't elusive again. That's going to no, be two more damage. This is going into yellow. Spend the focus for three. Gonna be taking two. He's probably He's gonna elusive. elusive here. Yeah. And gonna still get one out of it. And spends for three. Calculate gets another one, another shield down. That's three shields down on IG eighty eight B. And oh, here's, here's the big one. There we go. The roundhouse <laughs> kick. It's coming. Range one. Four dice. Spend the focus. Make it three. Probably gonna get at least one more shield. Unless the natty show up. Oh, there there it is. Let's get some natties in the chat. <laughs> He says, my, my green dice aren't great this round. <laughs> and then he does that. <laughs> Rolls natties. Oh, man. Oh, that's making me a little bit nervous now. This is, this is almost a, a very similar position to what we found ourselves in in the last game with the A-Wings against the IGs. Where that first that first round, they had a really good engage. But mm. then after that, they kind of they slowed down a little bit. Yeah, we'll we'll see what he ends up getting. He's got in. Uh, he got three shields. Oh, but hold up. S rupees eighteen slapping twenty bucks in. We are now into. We are now. What is that? We were. We are seven hundred and seven hundred and seventy eight. No, eighty eight dollars away from our next. Um, to that 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 ultimate goal of eight thousand. Thank you so much. The quick math. I I think we can get there, Dion. I think so too. Uh, Kylo Rem asking giveaways during planning? Question uh, mark. <laughs> seventy one. It's it's a backward seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Oh, I lost my train of thought what I was saying earlier. Um uh, I think I oh, um you know, being able to get the three shields there is awesome. Uh but honestly, if 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 the IGs can start arc dodging. Now it's going to be a little bit difficult for Red because of the direction he's got to go. Um if you, you I think you have some creative I you have if, with some creative choices, you you should be able to um, yeah. Oh, that BB Astromech. These, these BB Mechs are, oh, they're breaking my mind. I can't, I can't, I can't anymore. <laughs> this... 
Oh, I didn't finish the giveaways? Oh, no. I didn't. Oh, we still had to do the target locks, right? My oh, bad. Yeah. I'm so Could sorry. We... I'm so we... sorry. We pretty quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Planning phase. I got you. Okay? Planning phase. I got you. Oh, man. These, these, these X-Wings just, like, spread out. Yep, they they are casting the net. All right. And there's Rose doing her thing. C3PO providing that extra mod there, the calculate. Yeah, the mystery boxes were given. And... Ah, yes, the false transponder codes. Good point. So he chose to just jam the lock off. Ah, jam. Jam. <laughs> Raspberry. <laughs> I prefer I prefer grape, but you know what? To each their own. Oh, I'm definitely I'm definitely a grape guy. Oh, for sure. Super, super random here. Uh, apparent. I, I just found this out today. Apparently, basketball players, like a lot of NBA teams, are like super into pregame and and like during game and post game peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Look it up. All right. <laughs> And we got that 3K from IG88D is now behind two of the X-Wings, but is going to get popped by two X-Wings sitting there at range one. Oh, man. These X-Wings are more maneuverable than these IGs. That's crazy. <laughs> All these BB mechs are incredible. Well, I'm saying the the initiative one is really helping because Tor has perfect information, like not perfect information as to where they're going to go, but knows exactly when he's going to be able to use his tools. Yeah, there's there's no there's no questions. It, it's just this is the this is the board state when I start moving. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's boosting away, trying to get some distance away from that back line of X wings. All right, we will get to the locks during the planning phase. Let's go ahead and uh, and get to, through this engagement. Range two. Wait, Sorry, wait, range boy. one. Sorry, he's not shooting his own friend. He looks like, hey, I'm joining these guys' team. All right, <laughs> two <Yeah>. crits. <laughs> Was able to get three with the calculate spend. And that's going to be two shields down on the green X-Wing. Shields, shields are down. completely down. And here comes the resistance. All right, here we go. Range two. Three dice. That's going to be a full oh, string. Oh, oh, Hit, crit, crit. This may be a quick game, Dion. <laughs> and you know what? That's okay. Sometimes they happen. That's going to be... You know what? Did roll two Natty Evades, but that's the last shield down. We got three more shots coming in. Here comes the green X-Wing next. Another range two shot. All right. This one, a little bit more tame. It's going to be two hits. That's going to be another damage. Poking them one at a time. That's half. Probably the blue X-Wing, I would guess, is next. Or is going to be yellow? Might be yellow. Ooh. All right, so now he's confirmed that those back two X-Wings are going to have range three. So might be... I, I think you'd switch targets here. I, I, I'm kind of in the same boat. Yep, there it I, is. I know you. I know usually you want to laser focus and try to kill something. Yeah, you got half though. Yep, you got half, and now you got some great range one shots. That's a, that's three hit hit crit. You're gonna land. Get another shield out there. 
He, he, no, he has elusive on this one now. Ah, yeah, you can, he can elusive. There's the roll. Didn't get anything for it. That's a shield. Another range one shot. Taking targets of opportunity here. Only Oof. two hits on this one. But you're still going to get another shield. I, I I I still I still think that was the correct choice. Hey, you know what? He's, he's he was giving him. A, he, I think the idea was to be able to give yourself the best opportunity to do the as most damage across the list, especially in a two ship list. Like spreading damage in a two ship list is not not as bad <laughs> as if you're yeah, playing you know, against you know eight you eight ships. Back or something. To the other one. Yep. All right, but you know what time it is. It is time for us to give away those locks as we just rolled right into this top four match. We are giving away the locks. We hit that $7,000 goal. That means we're giving away a full set of the um, Galactic Championship target locks. They're absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and do it. If you want to be entered in the giveaways, all you got to do is type in our Twitch chat right now. Those of you who are live, uh, this is some. Uh, sorry, those of you who are watching later on on YouTube, this is something you guys usually end up missing because uh, we usually do these between the rounds, but you get to witness one. Uh, but yeah, all you have to do, type in the chat right now, um, our Twitch live viewers, and we will roll it. Here it comes. The winner of the full set of Galactic Championships 2021 Target Locks is JT Hornhill 15. JT Hornhill 15. Waiting for the reaction in the chat. For them to, the, the, that delay, there's always a little bit of a delay. JT Hornhill 15. He, he's 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 trying to rush back to his computer. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. They got up and, and got a sandwich or something. If we don't get an exclamation point win, I have to move on. There he is. He's there. I won't. Oh, I think it's Jay Thornhill, maybe. Jay Thornhill. You, exclamation point win. Hurry. Yeah, type exclamation point win <laughs> to claim your prize and fill out the form that pops up. There you go. He did it. <laughs> we got it. Sorry. Jay Thornhill. It was Thornhill. I think you were right. <laughs> how, how dare you, Dion? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? If everybody was just like Bob24... <laughs> And I, I'm down for that. <laughs> All right, it would make everything much easier. At, at least, at least put little capitals in between stuff. It's all, it's all undercase. I can't tell. I can't. So confused. Awesome. Well, congratulations, my friend. That's a huge prize. I'll tell you that. That's a that's a good one. Enjoy those when they come in. All righty. Yeah, Rose getting bombed. Yeah, it's it's happening. But at least I believe she still has a shield, right? So not too bad. Could be much worse. Yeah, she still got a shield. So going to eat it. You, you were pretty confident that was going to happen. Awesome. Now, if we, you know, if and when we get to that 7,500, just as a reminder, we have that, uh, that Skurg with matching dial. And a couple more uh, GSP mystery boxes up for grabs, all right? All right, let's go ahead and hide my face again as we continue to commentate. All right. So we got some movement here. Rose anticipating uh, the... Maybe trying to reach right now for the coordinate. Yeah, get that coordinate, yeah. Or actually, maybe going at an angle here could also be an attempt for trying to avoid the bomb next turn. True. Because if she had hard turned and then um, we get a bump from the IG-88D, there could have could have cut out her path. Oh, what? So, what was that? Coordinate a... Oh, crazy. 
green target lock onto the yellow IG. And it's a yellow false transponder codes popped. Okay, all set there. Advanced sensors double calculate. Are we going to get a sloop de loop? You sure are. Bring those IGs to bear. An IG 88D in the backfield. Oh. Oh, it fit. That's that's bad. Well, unfortunately, he's only taken looks like maybe Rose and the Blue Squadron or the 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 red one there. Oh, but that's range one, <laughs> fam. Yeah, that is. And he doesn't have any shots. Ooh, good point. All right, well, proton bomb number one goes off. That hits all those X-Wings. And he self-bombed himself, taking away another yeah. shield. Ooh, it's structural. What what what's a crit? Oh a structural, structural. damage. Yeah. That is on that green T seventy from the Proton Bomb. So Proton Bomb doing some work. Yeah, IG eighty eight B has to decide probably gonna fire on red to try to strip the focus. Is my guess. Yeah, both red and blue are the same. So there's no reason to not shoot blue, or sorry, to not shoot red to try to strip the focus. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an I. Okay, that's uh, that's hit hit crit coming in. That's a good shot. And defending, oof, uh, probably Ooh, gonna spend the focus on man. that one. Yeah, you don't want to take two. Yeah, you don't want to take that crit. Yeah, you don't want to so take the just crit. Taking the shields. So th there but you go. He did effective target exactly priority. What he wanted. Yep. <laughs> now Rose, he's gonna get a shot here. Has one friendly ship in the attack arc, so we'll have one reroll. Going at yellow, the IG eighty eight D. Two hits. We'll reroll the blank. Got a oh, crit my there. Goodness. And going to be taking both, right? Because it doesn't have any calculates. Oh, no. And the crit on the IG is a council fire. So he's already engaged this round. So it's okay this round. Mm-hmm. It's the following turn. Yellow X-Wing, not going to have any shots. We'll see if the red X-Wing can, uh, can get angry here and try to... Uh, Exert some revenge, but first the blue T seventy X wing reaching unobstructed just barely into IG eighty eight B. Nothing there. Her her heroic? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Here we go, range one. All right, we'll see if that focus finisher mattered. Nope, oh. three hits. <laughs> well, this could be it for Whoa. oh all oh, three of He's those gone. going through ig 88 d biting the dust man went from one shield and did six damage that round i just made a realization did earlier did i say biting the can I say biting the can yeah, earlier. Yeah, you did. I I wasn't gonna say anything, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> what why what I why I, are you thinking about that? I don't know. It just came into my mind. Like I said, I yeah. I said the right saying. I was like, wait a second. Did I say something stupid earlier? Yep. I just think I did. Yep. yep. All right, you cool. definitely did. <laughs> I was just like, what, what is wrong with him? Who says that? I no, I had a, I I was having like a I had like a half hour of struggle fatigue there. I'm good now. <laughs> 
<laughs> so my my words were were a little sloppy. All right. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. He bit the can. He's a there's a robot. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, know, right. you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna lean into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Sleep de- sleep deprived Eon is 100 percent the best Eon. <laughs> All right, so IG88B and a dream. Well, it's you know what? Dream. If if this one ends early, that just means I'll have like 40 minutes to coerce our chat to donate just a little bit more. <laughs> Look at me. It's for charity. Come on. <laughs> Do it. 17-17. Let's go. How many people? Let's see. We we have uh, roughly eight hundred dollars. Okay, R- about roughly eight hundred dollars to get to the eight thousand dollar goal. If how many people need need to donate seventeen dollars and seventeen cents? If forty six people donated seventeen dollars and seventeen cents, we would hit the goal. How many seventeen seventeens do how, we need? <laughs> yeah, that's right. How many seventeen seventeens? We need forty six. Actually, it'd be forty seven. Forty seven. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Risen Hero in the chat says Torres' list is all Fun Walk's fault. You're 100 percent correct. He actually did talk about. It. He's like, yeah, Fun Walk blew this first, so I blame him. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, and Rose just hanging out, doing her thing, coordinating. Yep, there's a the range two bubble. Oh, N.W. Vader dropping a hundred dollars. Oh, thank you so much. Love it, Kylo Ren with the five, and IG88. Just you know what? I I, you know I will what? not yeah. go quietly. <laughs> I will fight. Let's see what he can get. Range one shot. You know, he's gonna he's gonna go for points. He's gonna try to take out the green one. Ah, trail mix. It's gonna be two hits. Would no, not don't, be enough. Don't, don't spend. He's gonna hold on to it. We got a structural damage, so only one agility. There you go. Now you safe. Got the natty. Here's the ion cannon. Can only be one damage. So guaranteed one damage. No ion. Mm. And now the X wings strike back. It's the March of the Resistance, by the way, if anybody doesn't recognize the melody. All right. Yeah, I, I love it, yeah. Here we go. Range two shot. First out of four. Spends a lock. Oh, you got the lock. And that's going to be two hits and a crit. Full string. Elusive is up, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Got the blank to blank. That's hit crit going through. And now he's down to two. Direct hit down to one. (laughs) Which X Wing gonna put the nail in the coffin? That's the that's a set of three. A single blank does it. Put him in a coffin. That is the end. Call it scrap parts. Cause IG eighty eight B is done. And with that, Tor Walden moves on to the finals of the Galactic Championship Qualifier Dagobah. Thank you to ISO 
Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.